Well, good morning, folks. I know it's probably pretty warm in your living room right now, but I can tell you it's not that cold down here, and you still have about 15, 20 minutes left to come down and see what's going on. It's so, so much fun right now. Tons of people down here, music and Santa and hot chocolate. Uh, right now I'm here with Preston House. He is the owner of our local Papa John's stores, and he is here to help out today with our food drive for the first time this year. Uh, Preston, tell me why you decided to help out. Uh, we just really wanted to give back to the community, just trying to use uh, any way that we could to help drive some more focus on this. So we started the day by giving a free Cinnabite to the first 100 people that were here and uh, just trying to get some more people to donate, you know, and help Salvation Army and Second Harvest, so. And those Cinnabites went pretty fast. Yep, <laughs> pretty quick. And then you actually brought us some food, too. Yeah. Yeah, some chicken poppers and cinnapies and our new cookie. Yep, so we got to go in and get some. And I've heard it's really good, and we so appreciate the fact that you did that. Um, here's one of those boxes. It's nice and warm. I might continue holding on to this for a little while. But Preston here, they're no stranger to working with Second Harvest, who is our big partner with this. Tell me why you work with them. Uh, they're a great organization. Um, real immediately help for uh, all the local people and it's been fantastic we had a great drive with them last year and they were great to work with and we saw it immediately help to the community and that's always a good thing and it's so important to help out there's actually been six more than 16 almost seventeen thousand dollars raised so far here and one dollar helps feed five people so that's just incredible how much money we've raised today and there's so much food that we brought in too uh, let's check out what's going on over in Yakima with Claire right now. Well, thanks, Jane. You know, let me tell you, if you want to be warm here in Yakima, this is the place to be. We're over here with the folks from uh, Treetop, and they're making cider. There's heating sources over here. Sharon is the communications director over at Treetop. Sharon, let's just first talk about uh, the business of or your company or this company. You guys are local. Kind of tell us about Treetop. We are a grower-owned co-op. We're owned by about 1,100 growers throughout um, the Northwest here, and we, you know, we've been making apple juice for more than 50 years now. Premium apple juice—that's what people know us for. But we're actually a global fruit supplier. We supply all kinds of fruit products all over the globe um, for ingredients that you might find in um, cereals and uh, dairy products, a variety of things like that. So we are sourced here locally, um, right in Pasila. That's where headquarters is in Apple Country. Nice. And now, how long have you all been uh, been a part of uh, the KNDU Candio Food Drive? This is our 12th year being the major sponsor for the food drive. Gotcha. And talk about the the uh, the contribution that you all make to the food drive. Yeah, we actually delivered on Wednesday an entire semi load full of truck applesauce and, and juice and other fruit products, and um, it was 49,000 pounds of food, um, valued roughly close to $30,000. That is awesome. And just again, let's let's walk you through what we got here. This is how we're staying warm. So we have this propane tank that actually, if the cameraman can come over here, I want to show you this. Get warm. Yeah, this is this is blowing out heat here. That's how you're staying warm. That's how we're staying warm here in Yakima. And then of course over here, we have the cider brewing. And look at this. You got whipped cream, caramel. Let me tell you, this is where it's at. Oh, and of course the heating source, of course, that we have here. And it's free. You come down here, you drop off.